guys, this is Crafty Cat here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here in the week before Christmas and I have a uh, completion to show you. These were the first things I diamond painted that came from Amazon. The very first things I diamond painted were just little things from the dollar store, a little Christmas tree and snowman. But these were completely another story and I am so very, very happy with these. So as you can see, uh, these are keychains, and they're, they all come with these little chains. I only put the chain on one of them because I was thinking about sealing these, but I uh, so far they nothing's falling off. They seem to be doing all right. Um, did something fall off of this one? Yeah, something did fall out of, off of this one. So they do need to be sealed. I was just testing. Or maybe I forgot to put something in there. But anyway, I think they need to be sealed. So tomorrow I have to get my winter tires put on. So I'm doing that at 11 o'clock. And then after that, I think I'm going to go to Michael's. And I saw some of your videos. And a lot of people are using the, um, some kind of a clear glue. I forget what it's called. Tom Bowles or something. So I think I'm going to do that. And um, give that a try. Just for these. Because they're meant to go on the tree. They're ornaments for my mom. But anyway, let's take a look at these. I am super happy with how they came out. So this one's my favorite. It's they're both they're all double-sided ornaments. Aren't they beautiful? I had so much fun doing these. They're special drills. So you can see there's some bigger ones in here. And they're rhinestones. They're very, very shiny and sparkly. And the uh, the ornament itself is, I don't know if, you, if the camera's picking it up. It's like a thick acrylic material and they're double-sided. So this one was my absolute favorite one. I would love a set of these in different colors. And I really like this one too because it also had the special drills. It's a little present. And you can see in the middle, there's like these big red ones. And then there's these sort of teardrop triangular shape. I don't know what shape that is. And they're like multicolored, almost like a peacock tail. And they're just, they're all so pretty. And I love that they're double-sided. I really do. And my mom is going to absolutely love these. Because every year I make her a set of Christmas ornaments for the tree. This year I did two because I started with crochet. Anyway, um, let's take a look at all of them. Here's the little tree. And they're pretty good size. Some are bigger than others, and they have a little hole for hanging. This one just has one special drill on it. And I really like how the snowman came out. I really like the whites and golds, and he has like a little special drill for his nose. And here's the bells, more bells. And this one had the two big red ones as special drills. And some like big red ones in here that are not this big, but not as small as the red here. Can you see the difference in size? And just the sparkle, I don't know if, if the camera's picking it up. It's, and it's nighttime, so. I've got the house to myself, so I have to take advantage. So then we have the sleigh. And the sleigh, the tree in the sleigh has a lot of special drills. And this was really nice to do. I just, I swear, my brain just lights up. All the pleasure centers in my brain light up when I look at pretty colors and sparkly things. I must have been a crow in another life. I really like sparkly things. I love that one. And here is another bell. Looks like I accidentally got a green one stuck in here somehow. I'll have to fix that. And here is a Santa. So these were the first things I did after the dollar star paintings. These were my first ever try at diamond, real diamond painting, like not, not on a canvas. I guess this is considered a craft. 
There's a little stocking. And I really love that. So anyway, there's the set of ornaments. I'm very happy with them. And I think they're going to look really great on the tree. What do you think? Anyway, that is it. I've got lots of drills left over. Let me see if I can put this camera back down so I can show you the extra drills. These are all the extra gels. I put them into baggies. So I have quite a lot of the gold left. Don't know if they're gonna, if the camera's gonna pick up in the baggie, but these are the special ones with the little stars on them. And there's quite a lot of those left over. And there, there's a good amount of reds left over. And I don't know what color this is. I'm just calling it peacock tail color. But there's a very good amount of these. Oh, good. The camera's really focusing on this now. Awesome. So there's a lot of those left over. There's a few of these bigger red ones left over. There's six left. And more reds. These are the round ones, and I've got a lot of those left over. And I'm very happy that I have a bunch of these left over. Is, is this like a diamond shape? It's not really teardrop. I don't know what shape that is. Look how pretty, though. And I have a bunch of little tiny green ones. And these are the teardrop shaped ones, the little pink ones. Come on camera. And you see them? Some of them are pinky, orangey, reddy. They're very beautiful. And it makes, it makes my brain happy to work with these colors. So do any of you guys collect stuff? When I was a little girl, I used to walk along the shoreline and I collect pretty stones and pretty rocks and seashells and sea glass. And I'm getting the same feeling from um, diamond painting that I used to get from walking on the, along the shore. And you know, when you find something really pretty and you pick it up and you add it to your collection. I, I used to do that all the time when I was a little. I still, I don't pick, pick as many as I used to, but if I see a really pretty rock or a stone or a piece of driftwood, I still pick that all up. Diamond painting with pretty colors like this gave me that same feeling for the whole time that I did this whole set of ornaments. And then I have all of these keychain pieces that can be added on. I'm not adding this part on, but just I will add the chains because they're pretty. And I didn't even open this little um, toolkit because I was using the one that, I was using a different one. I think it came with two toolkits. So I didn't open this one, I was using the other one. So that is it, you guys. I've got a bunch of drills left over. I just put them in baggies. I've got all of these done. So tomorrow after I get my tires changed, I'm gonna go to Michael's and I'm hopefully gonna get some um, of that glue that is not, yeah, it's like a clear glue that's supposed to work well. I watched a lot of reviews about it. I, I can't remember the name of it. Tombow, I think. It's like in the blue clear container and a lot of people said it was really good. And I'm going to do that just for these. So I'm really pleased with that. Anyway, thank you for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe and take care and leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. Have you done these? And stay safe. Okay, guys. Bye for now.